Hello and welcome back. My name's Matt Tutnock, PGA Professional, and today we're at Radnor Golf Club on the fourth hole, which is a par three, 150 yards, to answer a question that's come in to John about alignment sticks. Now, we're gonna have a little close up of this in a minute, but on the ground, I've put down a relatively simple alignment drill. The two orange sticks are gonna be concentrating on where the club's going through impact. The white alignment sticks, which are parallel, are just gonna be able to check for us when we use the slow-mo on the camera, whether the ball starts online or not. In theory, what we should be looking for is a golf ball that is released perfectly in between the white sticks up towards our green in the distance. Let's see what happens. I've set up a three ball grid. One, two, three. Enough space there for that middle ball still to be struck and enough space for the club head to go down behind the ball and it will check multiple things. It will check whether we're hitting it off the toe or the heel because we probably would hit one of the alignment sticks but more importantly it might catch if the line across or the swing path is slightly incorrect. The three ball grid, as I refer to it, is a very similar grid and test that I give all my county groups that I'm involved with to test their strike ability and quality. Let's see what happens when we have a go. So here we are at setup. One of the most important things obviously to check is, is your body running parallel to those alignment sticks? It's all well and good knowing where your target line is, but we don't want to compromise that by then setting up in a position where your body's going to be hitting across that alignment, one way or the other. I always find it helps if you go feet together at right angles to your alignment. Separate left, separate right. Then we're looking for a nice easy swing up and down that line with the ball releasing perfectly on line. As always, we're gonna have a couple of practice swings at the side. When you're doing those practice swings, it'll be worthwhile just checking, is that divot going on the same line as well? Make sure the club face is clean and hopefully we'll be able to demonstrate this ball releasing perfectly online. Not a bad result for someone that doesn't play a lot of golf and I'm sure with more practice we can get that closer and closer. For more information on any golf tips or videos please check out the link below for my website and please do follow John who is one of my pupils that is setting up this great channel to bring to the world of golf and his audience different tips uh, and advice as we go around. Thank you for listening, hope to see you soon. Any questions, fire away to John who can then relay them to me. Thank you. Not a bad result.